welcome back to the channel and back to another video in the comments series. Yeah, I've got a great one for you today about V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S involving Jenny, Mac Jenny McCarthy and um, Jim Carrey here. It's super phenomenal. Remember, in this series, we check out posts that I've made and then dive into the comments down below to talk about them. Before we get into the video, I want to ask a few favors of you. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below what your thoughts are. Share it with someone who you think might find it valuable. Watch it till the end. That helps me with the algorithm. And if you feel so inclined, I'd love, you have a, love to have you as a su subscriber as we expose the evil and corruption that is happening in our world and help wake a bunch of people up, right? And help wake ourselves up too. And finally, I want to invite you to check out the Focus and Flow store at focusandflow.co. That's products and apparel for conscious creators, t-shirts, mugs, uh, stickers, including digital downloads. And also, I want to invite you to check out My Patriot or the Patriot's Guide to Saving America at mypatriotguide.com. It's going through a little bit of a transition, but there is all of the all of the things that we need to all be doing in order to save our country. So let's get into it here and watch this video and then talk about the comments. Back in 1989, the shot schedule was 10 shots given. 10 shots given. When I was a kid, what do we get? Three? It's twice as many as anywhere else in, uh, in 30 countries in the Western world. But uh, we give twice as many shots as any of those countries. Why is that? Well, you should educate yourself. We want to empower parents to educate themselves. Do we need to have the chicken pox? Do we need the hepatitis B shot on the second day of life? I don't think we can afford to assume that the people who are charged with our, our public health any longer ha have our best interests at heart all the time. Parents have to t have to make their own decisions, educated decisions. When the other doctors are here, and they will be on the other side in a while after you leave. Grab them and stab them, you mean? <laughs> that was right. This is my nickname. Well, what will they say? Why would a doctor not want to know more about something that could save that could save a life or prevent a disease? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, the AAP is financed by the drug companies. Uh, medical drug schools companies are financed by the drug companies. Going. This is a huge business. Vaccine, vaccines are the largest growing division of the pharmaceutical industry. Thirteen billion dollars. They control profit. medical schools. I they, mean, they're, these doctors are not learning about prevention or ask, vitamins or diets. What we're asking is for them to take a loss for the good of our children. That's a tough sell in a boardroom. You know it's a tough sell. Dude. Because well, the, 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 the challenge is, the way I see it, it's, it's easier to stop shit before it gets out of control than to allow money to flow into the pockets of these assholes and then t tell them, hey, we're going to take it from you now. They're going to fight tooth and nail because they get accustomed to that money and they want more. This is what is so freaking dangerous about the United States government giving corrupt big pharma and, there, and I say that because the Department of Justice has fined them billions of dollars over the last decade or decade and a half. Corrupt, fraudulent, uh, misrepresenting their products, Big Pharma, lying to and promoting, you know, making fraudulent claims to doctors and the American people. You don't give those companies billions of dollars in a blank slate saying you could, we'll, you can, we'll ne you'll never be sued. You'll never be sued. You guys are good. You don't give them that shit. They haven't earned it wake up let's get into these comments my son was a victim of this atrocity and he had a reaction and i'm always going to do my research yeah i'm sorry about that you know that is that's a that's a sucky thing that does happen um you know, this person says, wasn't he one of those angry pro-vax guys a few years ago? I don't know. I never saw that about Jim Carrey. Um, read Turtles all the way down. It's past time we question. Put that on your list of reading uh, list. I added it to mine. Um, they prey on innocent, young, well-meaning mothers wanting to keep their child healthy. The law also wants moms to strap and tie up their children in a car seat until age seven under the guise of safety. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know about that. You make up your own mind about that, but I do believe they, the first part of that is I, I can get on board with that. They do, they do put a lot of pressure on, um, and I'm finding out that doctors may receive commissions for giving out those V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S. Look into that, you know, 
but uh, this is a great opportune time to say, never believe anything I say, never believe anything they say, always do your own research and think for yourself. Um, let's see, do you think they created the AI chatbot and asked it how to decrease the pop, but only in a pretend universe because it will be pretend they give an answer, possibly. All by design, look who they chose to speak out against VACCINES. They will never take a loss, not willingly, no. It's going to have to be, uh, unfortunately, really, re it's going to have to go a different direction and that's all we have to say about that. We don't want to get in trouble. Um, I think the interview pretty much killed both of their careers. Both were on top. Now both pretty much gone. Possibly, right? You don't speak out against the people who pay your salaries, right? What, what do we find out? 70% of media is all purchased by Big Pharma, right? That's basically they bought the whole, the whole world. There's a link to something um, on Rumble. I remember when they took up this fight. Unfortunately, they were both hard to take seriously, especially Jenny McCarthy after years of acting a fool, which is sad because what they were fighting is a legitimate cause. Today's shot schedules are insane. The fact that there is zero responsibility for the manufacturers is also a huge part of the problem. Oh, and the fact that they are the lunges portion of largest portion of funding for those that approve their vaccine. It's totally incestuous. It is. What is it? 43%, 41% of the FDA's funding comes from fees charged from pharmaceutical companies. That's a fucking problem. I'm sorry, but wake the F up, you know, and, and let's speak about that. Yeah. This person you know, did make some good points. I never judge. I always ju try to judge it from what people say. This is why a lot of people come out and say, if I post something, they'll say, oh, that's controlled opposition or this person's controlled opposition. I really don't think about that at all when I post it. Is the information, take the information, put it into your databanks, analyze it and assess it and, and look at all the other information you've taken in and see where it lines up. Because I got to tell you, my friends, and you already know this if you're a savvy person, we are in a we are in a disinformation war. We are in a war of, of information. You got to really be on your A game to decipher the bullshit from the truth. It's out there. That's why, that's why my whole philosophy is this, and I'll share this with you. Look at it all. Take it all in. I know it takes time, but what else have you got to do? Watch the net bullshit on Netflix. Watch the bullshit on Hulu, Amazon Prime. Take it all in. There's some good shit on there too, but most of it's bullshit. Take it all in. Analyze it. I got to tell it's the most fascinating hobby you will ever encounter in your life. You'll never need to go to the movies again to watch an espionage spy thriller movie because you're seeing it play out in your world. It's right there, you know? It's brought me so much joy over the last, joy is not the right word, um, growth. It's, a, it's helped me be, find my purpose, right? To serve humanity in my way of sharing information, um, all of it. Yeah, and, and the joy is in the service, right? We know that Albert Schweitzer said those who have found out how to serve, they're going to find joy too, right? The joy is, so it does bring me joy. It's a it's a sick, twisted thing in many ways. And sometimes it really affects me. It puts me into deep, dark depression, but I, I am fulfilled and I do find many, uh, a lot of meaning in it. Um, when common sense was still in the room, amen to that comment. She was completely silent during the COVID rollout. I think what happened is again, a lot of these stars, you know, she's working on the masked singer. Once you get involved and once you get plugged in to the, to the system, the beast system that is going to use money to silence you, you're going to shut the F up real quick because again, no one wants to lose the lifestyle that they've had. It takes a really bold, courageous person to, you know, and you see him out there sometimes, you know, Jim Cavizio looks like one Mel, Mel uh, Gibson, um, what's his name? Kevin, the guy who played Hercules, Kevin Sorbo. It takes a bold, courageous person to look at Hollywood and go, you know what? F you, you sick bastards. Um, I don't want your, your blood money. I really believe this is one reason why they started to portray Jim as being crazy. Could very well be. I don't doubt it. They did that to Dave Chappelle. Remember when they said Dave Chappelle went off the deep end, got hooked on drugs, went to Africa. It was all bullshit. It was because he didn't want, he told the system, meaning Comedy Central and the people who are up and up above that, which it's all goes back to bankers and, you know, the sick, disgusting people that are, are in our world. He told them to shove it. 
and he turned down, what was it, $50 million? And what they do? They ran him through the ringer. But he lived to talk about it, and, he, and, and he's a better man for it. I, I will say that, but be very careful when you're listening to some of this. Also, Rose McGowan, she had a major falling out with Hollywood, and they put her through the ringer too. She'll never work in that industry again, and I guarantee you something, she's happy about it, right? I think there's something about what Kanye did it revolved around that too. I don't know enough to dive into that, but maybe you should check it out. I don't know. Um, remember all the clips of him saying weird, crazy, probably edited things that came out years back. I do remember that. I think it was a way to discredit him. They did the same to Tom Cruise, although MK ultra could be argued too. Uh, yeah. Tom Cruise was heavy talking about anti pharma, which is interesting because you know, he's, he's deep in the Hollywood scene. Uh, big pharma and the pimps of the media companies, you know it. Um, and hasn't the U.S. the highest numbers of S of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome, and which countries are having highest number of SADS? Yeah, it's going down right in front of our eyes, right? The pharmacies are out to make you dependent on them. Learn how to eat right in God's food. Amen to that comment. Yes, they are. It's my belief that pharmaceutical companies would love to outsource what? 100 i love for you to outsource 100 percent of your immune system to them they would eat that shit up right so they salivate at the fucking mouth about that shit pardon my french but it just irks me what the situation we're in in our country and look what happened to their child we see this evil happening and it's happening all around i'm assuming there i don't think the child was jim carrey's but it was jenny mccarthy's child or wait was it jim carrey's I don't know. It might have been. I for, I did. I forgot. Were they married? Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're watching this video on YouTube. Two irrelevant people today. Carrie is a socialist, and McCarthy was on the View. Well, regardless, they're still speaking facts. Uh, thanks for your comment. Let's see here. Oh, this is a good one. That's a long one. I'm not going to go into that one, but it looks good. Uh, go check it out. The one that starts with my daughter is 42 years old. Um, that looks like it's going to be a good one. Just because of time factors. I don't want to get these too long. This is Propaganda 101. Don't take all, but take some. It's okay to take some. If you buy this second-rate B movie, then you are then you are beyond help. Okay, that might be a... That, I don't know what to think of that comment. I think it could be a, a, a some kind of a dis distraction. Man, no offense, but that's one ugly look at me. <laughs> it's good we're reading this. Man, no offense, but that's one ugly looking bald guy. I don't know what to say to help you, but at least to tell you the truth, at least get some sun and go for a run. And you see my comment, depending on what mood I'm in, I'll react to those things. But you know what? I get it. I get it. Um, sometimes I get in and get out. Other times I like to stick around on the screen. You know, it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Stop back for more series in this comment section and all the series on my YouTube channel exposing the evil and corruption in our world. And until next time, I wish you all the best health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye.